Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. My name is Ben Gregory, and I am the host of So What? A Special Olympics Indiana podcast. And we have video today. I'm actually showing a video today. And this week we have uh, Jeff Muller. He is joining us again for the third time. <laughs> Do I get co-host? Label? I mean, I mean, you have. Uh, huh? Didn't didn't you start a podcast not too long after no. you were on here? <laughs> no. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> I I thought about it. I just I just wouldn't know what to do. I mean, if you want to be, a, I could throw a co-host <laughs> label on there. No, I'm just kidding. You're doing a great job. Why why uh, muddy the waters? Why why make it worse by adding me? How have you been? I'm doing all right. I think. Um, you know, it's it's been a strange time. I think uh, what was I think I I was in my head. I think last time I talked to you on the podcast was March twenty second. Right? I think so. It sounds about right. And so so that was the day before we announced that Summer Games was going to be affected by all of this. And uh, there's, there's a lot that's happened. Uh, not quite a month, but pretty close. And then I think our very first one was just the week before that. Yeah, when I joined you, I think it was around the fifteenth, and by the fifteenth we had lost basketball, or anything in March, and then by within that one week a lot changed and we lost everything to the end of May, which does impact summer games. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. I guess, I guess it's just a matter of trying to find things to appreciate in all of this. It's it's easy for I think it's easy to lose some of the good that can come out of this. Um, I don't know if anybody watches my little videos that I do, but you know, I probably have communicated with my grandparents. I still have three who are alive and they're all in their nineties and shame on me, but I've, I've communicated more with them over the past month than I probably have the past two or three years combined. So you know, you, you start to appreciate who you got and what you've got. So, and that's, I think that's a, I mean, I, I, I'm probably going off on some of the questions already, but I, I think that's some of the things that I would challenge our athletes about is that the whole virus is out of our control, but how we react to it is completely within our control. We can mm -hmm. use this as a time to grow as a person, or we can or we can feel like a victim to all of this. Uh, and it's okay, I think, to feel like a victim at times, because I, I sure do. Depend, you know, you get, you get in those moments where you're just having a really bad day or a really bad hour or half day or whatever, and, and you feel like you're a victim of what's going on around you and you've got nothing in your control, but then there's just something that, that happens. Uh, for me, it's usually an athlete like you or or a number of athletes who are really taking leadership of this whole situation and reaching out to fellow athletes, your friends, your teammates, and making sure that they're doing okay. Um, that Then that jars me out of my bad mood. And I start to think about, you know, would Ben, would you be doing this podcast if it weren't for this? Would, would some of our athletes be stepping up like they are? Um, I don't know. We'll never, we'll never know that answer, but at least this has given everybody a reason to, to take a new role in the organization, so to speak, and be, take more of a leadership role in the organization. And, and to have more leaders is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Right. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, I know we were getting ready to start on the, uh, Oh, the Alps webinar series. Yeah. So how did that come about? I know Alicia, a lot of it was Alicia's idea, I assume. Yeah, a lot of it was. I think what we're trying to figure out is how to keep athlete leaders engaged. Um, and, and so Alicia's come up with some things. Um, this is online learning or things like this. Is, this is what Alicia does for her job. Mm -hmm. And I think, and you've had her on recently. And so we're just taking that and trying to say, what can we do over the next several Saturdays when most of our athletes are 
this coming weekend, they would have been planning to be at Alps University. Uh, one or one or two of the following weekends, they'd be uh, going to swim invitationals, area spring games, other competitions, um, practices. So how do we keep them engaged? And so Alicia came up with something that I think is really good. And I, I think um, it, it's really challenging us on how, how can we keep our athletes engaged? And for the most part, w one of the sessions is just simply going to be athletes like you presenting what are you doing um, to keep your teammates engaged? Yeah, I know uh, she's reached out to me and uh, my sister Tori to help teach one of the sessions, I think the sports section, uh, next week at the, yeah. with the first grouping. So I'm definitely going to be doing whatever I can to help out with that. Yeah, I think uh, so on Saturday, this Saturday at uh, 10 a.m., um, we'll have a kind of an overview, we'll start with an overview of Alps University, talk about the different majors at uh, half hour increments through the day, the last one at two o'clock. Uh, somebody doesn't need to be part of all of it, but if you're interested, I would strongly encourage anybody to join us at 10 a.m. We'll answer questions about Alps University, and then uh, we'll have each of the, somebody representing each of the different majors come on and talk about what, what it means to be a, uh, in the sports major or governance, technology, visual arts, and all that. And it's a, I, I think what I would challenge is that if, if the people who are on that call, it's through Zoom, but if, if whoever's on Zoom, if it's athletes who are already part of Alps University, and that's all, uh, in some ways it's not, it's not a success because what we're trying to do is also recruit, advertise, and promote Alps University to new athlete leaders, um, so the so-called next generation of athlete leaders. Yeah, try to. I've talked to a few athletes here in Montgomery County who aren't a part of Alps, and I'm trying to get them to join in on Saturday to because I've got a few athletes that are like, "How did you become a coach? I want to be able to coach things." I'm like, "Well, right. ten thirty uh, Saturday on Zoom." you'll yeah. hear straight from me about it actually. So uh -huh. hopefully we can get a good turnout on that. Uh, I know that everybody's been working very, very hard on all of that, getting all the, the yeah. layout for the classes and courses and stuff. Right. And then on the next Saturday on May 2nd is a open discussion of what some of our athlete leaders are doing while in their quarantine. Like I'm sure you're going to be talking about your podcast here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure Melanie Sala in Benton County will talk about uh, some of the at-home exercises that she's doing and trying to get her teammates to do. Uh, and then uh, there'll be a number of other athletes who will be presenting. Um, and I just, on Facebook, I just put out a new video on um, Strong Minds Challenge. Uh, it's brand new. It's an international challenge from Special Olympics International. Uh, taking five minutes each of the days of over the next 30 days just to kind of unwind and relax. When we talk about health and fitness, we tend to think about our bodies, but sometimes we forget to think about our minds too. And so one of the things that we all need to do during this very stressful time is find time to relax. So, uh, you know, email me or uh, check out my Facebook page if you want to join that challenge. It's also for volunteers, but over the next week, all it simply is is taking five minutes, finding a, a stress ball and squeezing the stress ball for five minutes. That's all it takes. Uh, there'll, there'll be week number two. I forget what it is, but for four weeks, there'll be five-minute challenges. That's all it takes every day. And I'm sure that it doesn't seem like a lot, but after five minutes, uh, experts say you should start feeling a little bit better about just your mindset will be a little bit better. <laughs> And is there a link to that that I could share? I could put it in the description or anything. Yeah, remind me. I'll send you. Um, I'll send you some information on it. All right, cool. Yeah, and I'll put that in the description on the video on Wednesday yeah. when it goes up. Okay, I can do that. So I'll send it to you. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no. I'll I'll send you something and I'll have the link. Okay. So other than that, uh, how has life been? I noticed I almost didn't recognize you the first time I saw you with that. Uh, a goatee. 
Yeah, there's a couple things that are, um, you know, I can't go to the barber anymore, so right. my, my hair is getting. <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to going to the barber once a week, actually, and keeping it really tight. Um, now the hair is getting a little wild, so I, I yeah. you'll start seeing me with baseball caps. I, um, you probably won't see me without a baseball cap until I get the haircut, uh, and then I, I've got the goatee going. So. Uh, my wife's complaining about it, but I tell her that I'm not going to get a haircut and I'm not going to shave until our athletes are back practicing again. There you go. Yeah, I remember the first time we had seen one of your posts on Facebook, one of your videos. Mom was like, who is that? Is that Jeff? <laughs> yeah. So. The the funny thing, and I, I kind of like it, is that we're in a baseball cap and that I sometimes have my readers on. I keep taking them on and off. It's just I have a hard time seeing things up close. And then with my goatee, I, I look a lot like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess in some ways this is, this is my tribute to my old man. There you go. So have you been keeping up with uh, all, I know a lot of people have still been working on their, uh, their steps challenges and to the best of their abilities, of course. Yeah, I, I have, you know, I've been trying to, been trying to get my steps in i haven't this is it's a it's a crazy time um i think at work it, it doesn't seem like it makes sense but I, i'm actually working longer hours uh, than i would normally at this time of year even though we don't really have summer games to plan for there's a lot more that's going on we you know, a lot more meetings, um, Zoom meetings, just trying to make sure that our staff's connected and, and still knows, okay, you're working on that. Well, keep so-and-so in mind. But then also, you know, working with Special Olympics International and Special Olympics North America to try to create a plan of when we can go back to practice. Um, it's easy to shut things down it's a little bit harder to get things started again. Uh, it's not just, it's not as easy as just saying, okay, everybody goes back. Um, we have to really keep our fingers on the pulse of what the government's doing and what the government's allowing us to do. Um, and then if you hear what's going on in the news, there seems to be some, sometimes the president's telling us one thing and then the governor's telling us something different. Um, so we're trying to, trying to weed through all of that and trying to figure out when, when exactly can we go back to practice. Um, as we stand, it's still shut down through May 31st. Uh, still hope for a green light on June 1. Uh, we're just trying to make sure that we know when June 1 comes around, if, if we can go back to practice, is it safe for us to do so? Um, we have to keep in mind that one of the – one of the groups within our population that's very, very much affected by the viruses are our athletes. So we can't just because business is open again, doesn't necessarily mean that we can go back to practice. Um, if schools go back to meeting again, that doesn't necessarily mean that we can go back to practice. So we have to take it uh, a little differently than most people. And so, you think that that's an easy decision, but it's actually hard. So that usually hard decisions then mean you have a lot more meetings. Uh, and I don't know why I'm smiling right now, other than I don't know what else to do but smile. I think I, I probably smile a lot more than I ever have because I don't know what else to do. Um, we'll be back. I just wish I knew when. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I've been telling some people I've been more busy with things with Special Olympics now that the country is on hold than I have been yeah. with everything else. And I love it. Like, I just love all the extra things that I've been doing. Yeah. Like with all the different meetings with this. Uh, yeah. It's, I can't, yeah, you're right. You can't help but smile because it's. I don't a, know what else to do. <laughs> right. I mean, it's a horrible situation that we're in, but mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing that everyone has stepped up and has worked just as hard, if not yeah. harder. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think you're absolutely right. And I still, I tell people all the time when we had that uh, that episode with uh, 
Dr. Ciccarelli and you said the world has put us in time out. I tell people that all the time. It was like, hey, watch this podcast. He has a great quote that says the world has been put everything in time out. That's perfect. The perfect yeah. way to describe that. Yeah, the game's not over. No. We're just sitting on the bench waiting to go back in. And it'll happen before we know it, and then everything will go to... Yeah. I just can't wait to get to start working on uh, whatever sport we end up working on. I'm, I'm shooting for bowling, so <laughs> that's the one that I'm looking forward to right now. So Hopefully sooner than that, but I don't know if you play any fall sports, but... Um, I, hopefully for everybody toss is else. the only one that I do in the fall yeah. right now, but, uh, yeah, I, I, if I, if I, we can get EKS games in, absolutely. I'd ra- I, that's the one that I'm super uh, looking forward to, but if I had to pick one, I'd be like, cool, bowling, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I know this will probably be a bit of a shorter episode cause we, that's fine. We kind of had a, this was kind of a last minute thing. I mean, the episode yeah. that I did with Patrick a uh, couple weeks ago ended up being almost an hour. So, because we just wow. sat and just chit chatted for a while. Did you just talk about what he does? Talk about what he does. We actually broke down a little bit of how some divisioning works. And then we talked Good. about like stuff that he did in his past. Good. Uh, so hopefully that'll, that'll be a good episode. And then uh, next week I've got a couple I've got two people coming on. I've got uh, Brian Kellums. He actually won one of the shine contests Uh and then his Alps um, mentor, Jeremiah samples is going to be on there. And I think we're going to, I'm going to try something a little different because we all play uh, this game called animal crossing on the Nintendo switch. I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to get us all together in animal crossing and then do the podcast that way. Something a little different. I like that. I like that. But, uh, I have no idea what Animal Crossing is. It's uh, just kind of one of those zen, chill, relaxed games. Okay. But That's, uh, that's a good way of describing Brian. He's a pretty chill guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meeting him and Jeremiah at Alps is probably... I've made two really good friends through that. And yeah. Can't wait to get to see them again. Good. Well, unless you've got anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up. You know, I, I, I just think that um, I, I just think that everybody, however you can, um, still stay engaged, still check on each other. Um, I just encourage our athlete leaders to continue to do what they're doing, which is some really outstanding stuff out there. It's it's remarkable. Um, you know, we'll 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 get through this, um, and we'll have an update here soon. Uh, whenever we, uh, w- whenever we find something new, when I say soon, you know that doesn't mean this week necessarily or the next couple of weeks or anything. Any updates by by May, but it, you know one of the good signs that we tend to be thinking about is that we're we're reading that the government's thinking about when when can businesses open up again. So that'll probably be the first step, and everything that we're reading. And we're hearing, and I'm sure all of you have heard about it, is it's kind of get, it's going to be in like a reverse order of what shut down. You know, they first shut down big gatherings, and then they they ratcheted it all the way down to we should stay at home. Now they're going to go in reverse order, and they're going to let us start going out a little bit. Businesses will start opening up, but one of the last things that will come back is big gatherings of people again. So it is very likely almost certain that our local programs will be able to start practicing again uh, in smaller gatherings. You know, we may have to ask our local programs, um, whatever that number might be, but uh, if some of our local programs are used to a practice in which there are 50 people there, we may have to ask them to split your group up and, and, and do half of them at five o'clock and the other half at seven o'clock. Uh, we'll just have to ask our, all of our volunteers and athletes to be a little bit flexible when it comes to that. Uh, so practices will probably be the first thing for us to come back in, into, into being. And then the last thing would be when can we all get back together for a state championship uh, competition. So um, there, there is a possibility that, you know, for several weeks or maybe a couple months we'll be practicing, but we won't know whether or not we can have – 
EKS games or anything else. But we'll we'll keep everybody up to date as much as we can. Uh, we've been sending out emails a little bit more frequently than we used to. Um, I'm on Facebook now, so that's new. I was resisting that, but I I learned that that's where most of our athletes are. Uh, so that's probably where I need to be. So it tends to be very, uh, it, it tends to be the business side of Jeff Moeller, not necessarily go there to find out what my wife's name is, although I'm sure you can figure it out through the connections. But um, what I'm going to certainly try to do is keep people updated through that, through social media, through emails, through the website, and just keep checking back. And, and um, you know, it's, it's amazing how many conversations I've had with um, our athletes through Facebook, just checking in and, and seeing how I'm doing. I'm seeing how they're doing. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of good morning messages when I wake up each day and it's a good way to start the day. And, and I, I do that throughout the day. So I think more than anything else for our athletes, just to know that uh, I'm here for them. And uh, as much as I, as much as I can be, even though I physically can't, go and hang out with you guys. Um, you know, I wonder though, Ben, I'm wondering if we shouldn't just put a Zoom meeting together where we all just kind of hang out on Zoom and Well, socialize. actually, we are doing something like that, I think, near the end of the webinar series where okay. we're going to do that virtual uh, dance party. Whoa, all right. And I think we're going to hey, do it. You don't it. want to watch me dance, but I'll join in. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to be DJing it too, so... Uh, <laughs> Awesome. I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do it through Zoom, get as many people in as Zoom as we can, because when you're recording on Zoom or uh, hosting a thing, you can actually live stream on Facebook as well. So that way yeah, you can get yeah, even more yeah. people on there. Awesome. So uh, some more details will, of that will be coming out probably within the next couple of weeks. So it's definitely stay tuned to hear more information about that. Yep. Uh, but we are going to be doing something like that very, very soon. Yeah, that sounds great. That was one of the things that Alicia was like, hey, can you figure out how to do this? I was like, I'll okay. try. <laughs> well, that's great. It, I'm sure there will be a lot of athletes that will be looking forward to a virtual dance party. Mm -hmm. I figure because that's one of the more popular things we like to do, especially at summer games when we have the Saturday night dance party. So figure Absolutely. Oh, yeah. as, as a small replacement, it's not going to be like the, the best replacement, but it'll work. We hope. Yeah. Well, we you just you just do what you can. Um, you know, you, we're not going to be able to reach every athlete, but uh, it's absolutely amazing uh, how quickly our staff has had to figure out Zoom. And uh, last Saturday, yesterday, I, I was training some athletes on how to use Zoom, and uh, it, it's it's kind of amazing that they're picking up on Zoom better than most of our staff are. Yeah, I remember that was uh, pretty funny when you muted everybody and yourself and then you just kept going. <laughs> I've done that a few times. Yeah, I, I'm still trying to figure it out too. So, yeah, I accidentally muted myself, I think, at least twice. <laughs> and I plan on probably having you back on probably, I want to say, in about two two to three weeks maybe, maybe a little sooner sure. or later. I don't know. Yeah, and, and you know, if there's any major updates, uh, I'll certainly reach out to you, Ben, and see if we can schedule something. Um, but like I said, I am on weekly calls with uh, my CEO counterparts from around the world, and then later that day, we have one for U.S. programs, and we do those weekly. And so once we get an update, we can turn around and and get things in motion as quickly as possible when we finally get the good news. Uh, we will have good news. At some point, we will have good news. I don't know when. That's the hard part. Yeah, that's the, but we're, we do have good news now because we're, we are doing all that stuff with the webinars and yeah. we're, we're, we're doing everything we can possibly. I know I have a conversation with Patrick on Monday about something that he and I are planning. Uh, can't really talk too many details about that, but he and I are okay. going to try to work something fun in. Uh, Good. So we've got, we've got some ideas. 
Yeah. But Jeff, thank you again for again coming on last minute like like that. Oh, uh, no problem. No and problem. we will definitely have you on pretty soon again. Thank you all for listening. Please, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to comment and down below. Uh, send an email. The email is always in the end of the video and also in the description as well. Uh, I will get back to anybody that answers as soon as I possibly can with those. Uh, and thank you all for listening. If you find this interesting, please also subscribe. We upload every week. Um, we have guests like Jeff, and then we've got a, about five other episodes of really great content on there. So I do appreciate you all taking time out of your busy day to come and listen. And Jeff, I do appreciate you taking time out of your Sunday to chit chat with me. No problem. Anytime, Ben. Thanks for doing this. All righty. So thank you all for listening, and I will see you next week.